Hello and welcome to the Poke Playthrough 2013. As I realise, I haven't updated my Twitch page, which makes me a terrible person. I am right now listed as playing Dota 2, so give me a second and uh, I will fix that for you poor people who thought I was going to be playing Dota 2. Um, I don't think they have an option for Pokemon uh, Fire Red, unfortunately, so I'll have to update that. There we go. So sorry about this weird start, but there we go. I turned the stream on, and that's the kind of thing we get here at Vokta Gaming. Sorry, we don't recognise that game. I know you don't. Um, let's just clear that. Anyway, I'm playing Pokemon Fire Red on an emulator, so I can stream it. But the idea of this is, um, essentially, we're doing the Pokemon Playthrough 2013, starting on Reddit um, via the subreddit Pokemon Playthrough 2013. Quite handily. Essentially, Pokemon X and Y is coming out in October, so we're doing a marathon run where we play each generation in turn. We spend a month playing each generation, and holy crap, this is loud. I don't know if this is loud for the rest of you, so um, I'm just going to drop that volume even more. That's a bit better for me. Anyway, but so yes, this is the first video in... That's still just as loud. That has literally changed nothing. Okay, it has changed a bit actually. I just can't deal with my own sound. So yeah, I'm starting with Fire Red. And uh, this is what I will be playing through on uh, for the entire month of March. I'll still be playing other stuff. Um, I'll try and stream some Mark of the Ninja when I get to New Game Plus. And uh, obviously I still want to focus on Torchlight 2 as well, but the vast majority of March will be focused on, uh, on Pokemon Fire Red. My goal is to get as many Pokemon into the Hall of Fame. That means beating the Elite Four with them as possible in this uh, month. Because of that, I won't just be playing uh, when I stream. I will be playing elsewise as well. So, uh, one of the first rules we have is um, we have to uh, use our own uh, our username uh, on the guide. So I'll be using Bokta, because obviously vocal terrorists will not fit in that. And we did a poll on Sarcasm Gaming. Uh, for what I would name my rival. Uh, it would be Professor Oak's grandson. It was pretty close between quite a few things. Uh, it's not Green, Gary, Kaz or Tori. It is in fact... That's right. Sleep won the vote. So it is Sleep. So uh, my rival is Sleep. Which is quite fitting considering I drink a ton of these. And that one is actually empty, so it's time to get another and get ready for Fire Red. We're all going to be sick of this music by the end of this first streaming session. Pokemon, by the way, has the best music of any game ever. Anyone who says otherwise is totally and completely wrong. Um, here we go. I'm holding the mouse like... Oh, I wonder if the, po if the PC still has the potion on it. I've... Never played Fire Red. I did a quick run uh, where I played through up to Misty's gym um, just to make sure everything would be fine. Let's check my mailbox. Oh, there's no mail for me. So, um, not, you know, running through this particularly hard. And look at this, that is blatantly a NES now. One of the greatest consoles of all time. I don't know what the LRR buttons are mapped to. I'm going to be doing a lot of talking to people in this. I'm not just going to be playing them. Um, I really want to re-experience the story like I did as as a child. I um, I was one of the first people in this country to own a copy of Pokemon. I had it imported, um, both blue and red, because I really, really wanted to play them. 
Um, because I was a geeky child, and I'm a geeky adult. Oh, hang on, I'm supposed to be reading that. Good menu, that. Of course, I won't be using the in-game save. I'll be using... Shift... 1... No, sorry, Shift and F1 to save, not Shift and 1. Um, at some point during this run, uh, you can guarantee I will press Control and F1 instead and load a save. And um, that will be really annoying. Oh, that's right, I'm supposed to be leaving here. Run, does down here still lead to... I kind of have it in my head. No, okay, yeah. So, like, down there leads all the way to, like, one of the final C's, doesn't it? See, I'm remembering things. I'm supposed to wander into this grass. Is that an updated bit of music? Is that in the original? Someone tell me. Hey! It is Magico in the chat, as always. He's uh, he spent three hours creating and remaking maps. Oh, nice! He had ten people watching him do it as well. Which is uh, his highest ever. Congratulations, Magico, actually. It's, it's really, really hard to get viewers at times on streams. It feels really, really good when you get them. Me, I'm not so worried about this. A lot of this I do is just because I like to have fun with it, and I find I actually enjoy things more when I stream it and when I record it, and it allows me to watch myself back and I play. Uh, and that helps me get better. But um, So the only time I'm really bothered about my viewers is when we do tournaments. Um, because, you know, I put money into that. Except I don't anymore, because I have sponsors who I should mention, and that is, of course, the wonderful... Sarcasm Gaming, www.sarcasmgaming.com. Uh, they look after me. I do not want to go with Bulbasaur. The reason I'm doing this is because, uh, if I recall correctly, it adds them then to your Pokedex as having seen them. Because we are starting with the best Pokemon in the game, Squirtle. Um, Squirtle is one of the Pokemon I want to get into the Hall of Fame. Another one I want to get into the Hall of Fame is Psyduck in honour of Maggie. So, we're naming Pokemon. That's right. <laughs> Everyone always thinks Charmander is the best, but they're wrong. Charmander is like the most awesome one, but just in terms of like being able to actually win the game, um, Squirtle is the best. This is an actual fact. Uh, he can learn the best set of moves. Uh, you can give him Surf, but you don't. Um, I'm going to pick someone else up for Surf. Uh, for reasons. And now we get our first Pokemon battle. Where I will be absolutely smashing sleep. Uh, I want to win this fight. Uh, this is a really important fight for me to win, and I should be able to win it. Um, just because my tactics are better. I've had a Pokemon battle. I know what it is, don't worry. Yeah, try battling and see for yourself. Go, go, Magico! We're going to throw a Tail Whip in there. We expect him to tackle. Okay, so his speed is higher than mine. That's really annoying. That's just one of them stat things. And uh, now we're going to throw in tackles. And we're going to hope we can win. This is a bit tougher because his speed is higher than mine, but that's fine. Look at that, I'm already doing more damage. And he's just going to keep tackling, so... Oh, what? Oh, that is... Crap. Uh, yeah, I'll do. Yes! In your face. And that's why it's important to win that fight, because you gain a whole level just straight up. Oh uh, yeah, so we beat Sleep for the first time, and uh, I'm beating Sleep right now. I actually fell asleep, okay, so let me tell you this. I finished work at 7pm uh, today, excuse me, <coughs> and I fell asleep in the car on the way home, that's how tired I was, uh, but instead, 
of um, actually just going to bed when I got in. No. I did yoga, I had a shower, I ate some gluten-free toast, and then, well then, I uh, came on here. Played Pokemon for you. I think talking to my mum, yeah, that heals me. Man, I love Pokemon, honest to god, like, this is my favourite thing. I'm going to be trying not to hit the space bar as well, because that is cheating. Um, I'll show you why. Because I can vastly speed up the game, and that is a little bit cheating. Like, walking this slow at times, absolutely painful. Yep, so um, we're going to Viridian City, so now we have two potions, so we're not going to struggle with here, but we're not going to take on too many fights at this point, because we are going to want to catch Pokemon first. Um, I, I want to chat to this bloke. Oh, he tells me to jump down ledges. I haven't spoken to him in ages. I have played Pokemon games recently. How did my other games of Dota 2 go the other night? We won them. Um, you should definitely go watch the VOD back, if and when you get the chance, because they are pretty long. That last game, where I played as Anti-Mage, ended up being one of the sickest games I've had as Anti-Mage. Like, honestly, it's so good. Um, uh, I played a Darkseer game as well, it was really fun. Um, that actually has some really stupid moments in it from the other team. So funny. Like, I really enjoyed that. I could be playing Dota 2 right now. Oh, what? I freaking missed with Tackle. Yes, but Pidgey missed us. Um, yeah. Uh, so, like, the Sarcasm Gaming guys. Oh, another critical! I'm having the worst luck in this run. Uh, I can still survive that. Yes! I'm actually moved faster. Oh, it must be a speed tiger. Um, unless he was doing something weird. Uh, yeah, but the Sarcasm guy, uh, Gaming guys are all off playing, uh, well, playing Dota 2 right now. And uh, instead of playing it uh, with them, I jumped up here. Let's just kill this guy. It's three levels uh, below me. Yeah, he's just I might have used a potion here. I have. I'm gonna have to use a potion. Three times I didn't even need to play. Oh well. Actually nothing but tailwind. And again a speed tie. That's really weird. Um, so the reason you know it's a speed tie is whichever Pokemon has the fastest speed uh, will be the one that attacks first. So in the case of a speed tie, it will essentially flip a coin uh, as to who attacks first. And now I have Bubble. Bubble is, of course, really useful uh, against the first gym. I think it's this one. I don't know. What's that one? So, here we go. I'm in Viridian City. I don't need to heal. I can go straight to the Pokemon Mart. Look at that. Even lined it up right. And uh, now we get a package. I go all the way back to Professor Oak. And then, finally, I get Pokeball. And I can start catching stuff. I'm going to catch a Rattata and a Pidgey, uh, just because I want them. Um, I mean, I might keep the Pidgey for a while. We're going to skip fights now, because I will do a fair amount of grinding at certain points in this game. Um, apologies for that boring for you, but, well, it's my game. And I like the grinding aspect of it, uh, of the JRPG stuff, like just leveling stuff up. I think I try and hit level 10 with everything before I go in and fight Brock. Although generally I do that with Charmander, I will say. Uh, it's still level 3, so we can just throw tackles at it. See, so now I've got the speed advantage, so... And now he'll give me the Pokedex. Hmm. 
<laughs> I never had a Game Boy Color. Like this is this is the dissatisfaction of my childhood. I was never given a Game Boy Color. I had a Game Boy, and then I went from the Game Boy straight to the Game Boy Advance. Um, my friend Steven had a Game Boy Color with the camera attachment as well, and man, I was so jealous. Like I really wanted it. And there's my Pokeballs. I've also never completed a Pokedex in my life, um, and I won't be on this run either, simply because it requires someone else willing to constantly restart and get me all the Pokemon, and I don't really have anyone willing to do that as part of this marathon. Um, you can do it even through emulators. Uh, I'm not going to bother to heal because I'm just going to catch Pokemon anyway. I got potions. We're gonna to start to head up there, cause we may as well be near. Did I get it right? Ah, I always miscount that one. Well, I actually all the way to Viridian City without an engagement, uh, without an encounter even. So come on! Oh my God! Thank you. So I'm going to catch this Pidgey, uh, I can throw two tackles at it, and then a Pokeball. So long as I don't crit, I'll be fine. Yeah. i throw another tackle off Pellet. Uh, back. I like that it separates out Pokeballs. Down and B, down and B, down and B! Down and B does not work. That's not a thing. Um, but yeah, got myself a Pidgey. Yo, Pidgey, I'm sorry, but you're just staying Pidgey. Oh, I should have. Oh, it's a retire anyway. But yeah, I probably should have gone and healed, but. Uh, well, it's fine. I think the yellow arm in 10, that's fine. Uh, I think I can get this new tackle as well. Yeah. As long as I don't crit again, if I crit, I'll have to go to the Pokemon Center. Perfect. It should be able to hit with one tackle. I won't die. And Pokeball use. Should catch it. Then I can go heal everything up. Oh yeah. I won't be naming every Pokemon. I'll be naming certain ones. Yeah, I've got a few in mind. If you want to be named a, speci uh, a specific Pokemon to be named after you, that is available on Fire Red, of course. If it's on Blue, then, or Leaf Green, or whatever, there's nothing I can do for you. Uh, but, you know, feel free to hit me up on the Twitters or whatever. Yes, yes, I would. <laughs> uh, Meowth. Okay, yeah, if I... Oh, every time. Yeah, if I catch a Meowth, I think Meowths are in, in Fire Red as well. Um, basically, the first cat I uh, I get will be named Nort. That is a great shout. Pokemon anytime, anywhere. Oh, yes, I I don't, I don't want to read what's on the blackboard. Most of the stuff early on is very instructional. Which is really cool, you know. It's nice of them to add that kind of stuff. Um, is there anything I should pick up from the Pokemon Mart? Uh, probably some Paralyte. Heals and poisons and stuff. Maybe a few more Pokeballs as well. Actually, I want a fair amount of Pokeballs. because I normally try and keep 10 in my bag at all times. So normally they are by 7, but I may as well pick that up, because I'm going to be catching uh, a fair amount of Pokemon at the uh, start of this run. Uh, I'll pick up another one potion. So, 
gives me two potions just in case I end up needing them, because um, it's better to use a potion than to die. Uh, I don't think there's many poisonous Pokemons around here, so I don't think it's necessary I get one at this point. Done. So we're going to do a quick save, shift F2, um, I alternate, or I try to alternate between uh, two separate saves, I was always like that as a kid as well, just in case you end up somewhere really stupid or glitched, you can, you always have another save to revert back to. So I should be able to catch a Mankey in here, I think, I think it's in here. And then I'm going to fight Gary, uh, not Gary, Sleep, sorry. So I'm going to just fight the value coming here and level him up. Uh, a tail Whip and then a Tackle. I think two Tackles now should kill it after a Tail Whip. I'm not worried so much about taking damage myself. I want the fight against uh, Sleep because it's just fun. I'm sure, I'm sure if I go here, this is of course the, uh, the path to the Elite Four. Uh, this is where you go at the end of the game. But we're going to go there because if you go there early, you actually get a, a, a cool fight against your rival, which is a, a ton of fun. Hmm, what Pokemon shall I call Nifty Nathan? Kind of should have called him Squirtle because he's actually a Turtle Terran. Ha <laughs> ha! Maybe Gyarados. No, I can't call him there. Uh, a Gyarados, actually, because I know what I'm calling uh, my Magikarp. And yes, I am getting a Magikarp. I want to get a Magikarp into the Hall of Fame. That's always a fun achievement to do. Oh my god! Come on, give me a Mankey. Give me something that's not a Rattata. Um, this Rattata is really bad uh, because it's female. And I'm like, I know that sounds horrible. So let me tell you about how stats in this game worked uh, for when they updated it like this. Essentially, what they did was, um, because of course in red and blue, they didn't have genders. And the game wasn't really set up for that. So to, um, I'm going to go back and help. So, to kind of shoehorn that in, what they did was, um, basically, uh, any Pokemon with its lowest possible attack stats will be female. That was how they, uh, that was how they, uh, they decided in the game whether or not it would be male or female. So, if you see a Pokemon that's female, it has the worst possible uh, stats, uh, attack stat for that level. At least I think that's how it works. Every website you read will tell you something different when it comes to Pokemon. There's so much wrong information out there, including um, the Pokemon guides, actually. Like, the official strategy guide is awful for uh, the wrong information. Um, I think Belnoir should be a Sand True. I don't know if I can get a Sand True in red. Yes, Monkey! Okay, it's level 2. Will Tackle one hit kill it? I don't think so, but we'll find out. No. Okay. So now I'm going to get a level 2 Mankey. Oh, it's going to be a pain to level up. But... So worth it when I have a Mankey. A Mankey Monkey. When angered, it flies into an uncontrollable frenzy. <laughs> I don't know if she'll love that or if she'll kill me when she watches this back. 
<laughs> I was kind of uh, tempted to use that for like uh, either the Hitmonchan or the Hitmonlee, but I just think the anger thing is better for Rocket because she's an angry squirrel. So normally when I stream, like, I kind of keep half an eye on the time, and I'll be like, hmm, okay, yeah, now is probably a good time to sleep. Which is Star? Is it Anna? Yeah, there we go. Um, with Pokemon, it's going to be really hard for me to remember to go to bed, because, like, I am super into this game. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that and make sure I, uh, I don't stay up too late. Uh, people may well be joining me, by the way, in the uh, in the Sarcasm Gaming TeamSpeak. If you have TeamSpeak, that's uh, ts3.sarcasm.com, I believe. Lilo is attack, doesn't it? Um... Oh man, it's gonna take forever. Yeah, I mean, I'll be trying to go to bed not long after that. I'm trying to go to bed about 1am today because I'm super tired. Um, so... I'm just going to keep using the tail. Thank you. So that's pretty nice. I should level all my Pokemon up to five. I think with eight and five, I should be more than fine to be uh, sleep up here. So we're gonna see a lot of these fights. Haha, <laughs> it's another Mankey. Way higher level, but with terrible attack stats. Um, I actually have decent attack stats, but still, I'm gonna need to switch now. I'm actually going to have to do it with uh, Magic Code because, just because of the level. Oh no, it is defense. There you go. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh yeah, I was going to say that's still pretty decent attack, but then I realised that it. Uh... I can't remember what was getting this fight. Let's see how this works. <laughs> that was fun, man. That was a fun game. Yeah, that was a terrible attack. Boom! See you later, man. You are getting out of this game. And there we go. And Rocky gained 26 experience and therefore leveled up. Ooh. So that's fine. Let's keep getting them levels. More monkey. Level 3 monkey versus my level 3 monkey. Pretty good. Um, don't know about attack stats, of course. Okay, I've got the speed, though, so that should be fine. Let's see how much my scratch does. Ooh. Oh, man, is this another coin flip for speed? Yes, yes it is, but I won it, so that's fine. Full level. I'm actually going to swap my hands over for a while. I do that sometimes. Uh, just because I like to move my hands about. Because right, um, with this, I don't really get to move my hands about as much as I would playing a normal because pretty much just arrow keys Z and X. So uh, I try and switch it up every now and then. Oh, 
anyone in the sarcasm gaming community is Pokemon. Like, if I see something that I think is appropriate, I'm just gonna name it. I hadn't really planned uh, for Mankey to be named Rocket, and then I just thought about it, and I'm like, yeah, actually, I have to name that Rocket. I couldn't not once I read that, uh, the thing about the the rage. So it just, I mean, it won't just be sarcasm gaming, it will just be my friends. Like, anyone I hang out and talk to will potentially be a Pokemon. One more fight, I'll be allowed. <laughs> Everyone's dream indeed to be a Pokemon. Man, I always be a Pokemon trainer, not a Pokemon. Okay, level 4, might have to switch out this time. Uh, I'm going to smack him with a Leer first, though. Okay, I've still got the speed. See, because that stays up for the whole fight. So, if I switch out now with my Pidgey, even though it's a lower level, with that Leer already done, I think this Pidgey should be able to be here. Um, we'll soon see. Okay, my Pidgey's actually got really low speed. Oh my god! Well, that was bad luck. I'm actually going to let my Pidgey die here. Um, sorry, not die, faint. I don't want to get it. I'm switching my Rotata. And then I'll throw Rocket back out if my Rotata dies. I should be fine, actually. I hope that'll still be enough. Yep, Rocket's level 5. Um, so I'm actually going to go back to the, uh, the Pokemon Center now because I'm going to want to start leveling my Pidgey. Um, wow, that's really bad for a Pidgey speed to be that low. Well, actually, I might have to take a look at that. I mean, it's not going to matter. It's, it's not going to be a huge deal. Um, here we go. See my, my constant checking to uh, to make sure I'm holding a shift and not control because it's the last thing we want. Okay, so time to change my Pokemon lineup. Uh, PG out next. So like I said, just two levels in each, and then uh, then we'll go fight Sleep for a second time. I'm sure it's down this way. I'm sure over here you can get like a Nidoran as well. But I guess not. Because two rounds are awesome. Okay, it's got low attack stats, so. I mean, the thing with Pidgey is it doesn't have a, a modification thing. I can't lower its defense or anything like that, which kind of sucks. I just have to keep hitting tackle and kind of hope. Oh my god! What is up with this Pidgey? So this is officially the worst Pidgey I've ever had, um, so I'm kind of glad I didn't name any... Uh, <laughs> oh my god, the tail whips. It's so slow. Oh, I should have switched to Rattata, bugger. Anyway, I'll switch to Rattata now anyway, and then I'll have to walk all the way back to the Pokemon Center. Oh, for god's sake. Still, I mean, that'll help. Now it's level 4, so... <laughs> the Pidgey is the worst thing. Honest to God, that's the worst Pidgey I think I've ever seen. I've never known a Pidgey to miss that much. 
I mean, they're annoying to fight against once they've got sand attack, because sand attack. I always have a feeling that um, sand attack affects you worse than it affects anyone else in the game. I feel like sand attack cheats, um, which is totally not fair. I'm pretty sure this game cheats a lot, actually. Um, either that or the RNG does not like me. And that's another term I'm going to be using, by the way. RNG, for those of you who don't know, it just means random number generator. It's basically the dice the computer rolls. Uh, to decide certain things. I will also occasionally refer to it as the random number god, because that's the way it feels like. Uh, it feels like a, a capricious god. Like a god. Yes, just keep using tail whip and never hit me. Please. Because this pigeon is the worst. Yes! There we go. I probably can't even fight this man here, you know. Okay, that's four, and I do more than four. Should be fine. Hmm. I don't think it will double his attack, so I think I'll be fine. Oh, no, mind. Not there anyway. Yeah, absolutely, I'll get a snow max. Uh, so long as I don't mess the fight up, I'll, I'll definitely be getting a Snorlax. Snorlaxes are awesome. Alright, so awesome. I'm fully expecting my Pidgey to die in this fight because his Pidgey is still utterly useless. But then I'll switch to uh, Rattata. And I'll get my pass level one. Oh no way. Yes! And now it's got sound attack, so it can be extremely annoying. Okay. That was good then. Let's um switch in my retard. Get retard to level five, go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then go fight sleep. That is the plan. It's like the first time ever my Pidgey hasn't failed miserably. Still got Viridian Forest to go through. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, before I fight uh, Brock. The Brock fight is easy because I have Squirtle and Bubble. And I think his Onyx is level 12. His Geodude should die in like one or two hits. I think I can actually just Tail Whip then Bubble uh, Geodude. And then Onyx is Tail Whip and two Bubbles and he dies at uh, level 10. And if it does die, I have other Pokemon. Oh god, yeah, that Bite on Onyx is the worst. <clears throat> Go for the win. YOLO strats. Totes worth it. Out of the bosses, who do I like fighting the most? Um, Surge is actually... Lieutenant Surge is a really fun fight. Um, it's annoying when you start with Squirtle, because of course Squirtle is bloody awful against him. But he's just such a fun fight. He's such a fun character. 
Um, beyond that, I really like the Giovanni fight. Like, Giovanni is this wonderful character in the Pokemon games. And, uh, like, especially back in, uh, here when he was, like, so wonderfully mysterious for a lot of the game. Uh, so yeah, like, Giovanni's a great one. Uh, Sabrina's really annoying. I hate that gym. Let's go chat to some of these fine folks. I don't mind the Sabrina fight, but the gym is just... Bleh. And I mean, like, ghost Pokemon in this game are so screwed up. Like, they actually programmed it wrong. Um, what's down this way? Yeah, they actually bugged uh, something about ghost and, Pokemon, uh, ghost and psychic Pokemon. Um, I can't quite remember what it was they bought. It might have been lit. Something like that. I don't recall. Also, I feel like Sabrina's the one that gives you... Um... Yeah, I knew I had to go through the grass, but I wanted to see if there was anything down there, like an item or something. So I think I can win this one. I think it's, it should be a pretty easy fight. Yeah, he's only got two Pokemon. He's got Pidgey and um, Bulbasaur. Bulba! Bulbasaur! Obviously they are higher level, but... I'm not so worried about that. I, I still think I can uh, win these fights. Yes. I just wanted to do a little bit of damage to him then. Uh, I might as well keep fighting until the time is fainted, by the way. Um, I'm not sure that might be cool yet. Uh, could you learn Sand Attack? So I'm going to send him out. So I'm going to Sand Attack the crap out of his Pidgey. Oh, what? Oh, of course! Oh, I meant to do that against the other... Ah, oh, fuck. I meant to do that against Bulbasaur. What am I doing? Switch to Rocket. It'll be fine, don't worry. I'll still win the fight. It's just annoying now. Um, oh, bugger. I say I'll still win the fight, but actually I'm a little bit worried now. Um, I did not mean to do that at all. Uh, ah. I'm just got faster speed than me. So it's going to do a nice amount of damage here. I do have potions. This is why I made sure I had potions earlier. Oh, what? I actually gets in an extra tackle. Uh, I might actually level up off that, so... Hey, Pidgey leveled up me. Yeah, I'm magic again. So that's cool. Yes, I will. So now I'll send out the Pidgey and try and do a sand attack and hope he doesn't kill me first. That was so stupid. Oh wow, his... Attack was actually really bad. So there we go. Haha! <laughs> Sucks to be you! And now I'll just try and take off as much of his health as I can. Bring out a uh, Squirtle. Use um, a potion on him. <laughs> Indeed. This is the first time I learned about, essentially, you know, strategies. <clears throat> what we call kind of build orders in, uh, in StarCraft 2. Okay, let's see how much it's going to take off me. 
nothing. I'm going to throw a tail whip at him. And, uh, and see, look, he missed again. Yeah, yeah, well, that was just an accident. I just totally blanked on that for some reason. It's late at night, I'm really tired. And it was funny. You know, I did it on purpose because I'm a great comedian. That's what it was. Oh, yes. I told you I could still win this fight, though. I just need to keep that Pidgey alive so that uh, Bulbasaur would, uh, would miss a ton of tackles. Boop, level 10. And what did I tell you? I want Magico to be level 10. Learn with Draw, it's totally pointless. I will never use it. Uh, it's the first move I knock off, I think. Interestingly enough, when you... Um, if you ever watch speedruns of this game... Okay, we'll just make sure I save after that. Uh, if you ever watch speedruns of this game, um, they start with Twirl, and there is one point in the game on... I think it might be... Yeah, I think it's blue. It might be gold. Um, where... Uh, you literally have no water moves on it for a portion of the game. Which is one of the reasons it's a really good uh, starter Pokemon to have. Because it has like a brilliant variety of moves it can learn. But there we go. That fight is done. Do you know what I've just realised? I can't see this. I just need to make sure I'm not dropping any frames. And I suddenly realised that I couldn't see that. She's just telling me, go through Viridian Forest, you idiot. <laughs> I love that. Apparently that's the tweet noise. I'm not... Oh, I hate this guy. Ah, oh, so you're working on your Pokedex. I don't know how to catch... What? I've caught three! Oh, this takes forever! Oh. Oh. I know how to catch a Pokemon! Oh, spamming this key doesn't make it go any faster! God damn it, old man! I really like, by the way, that there's that fight with your rival that you can totally miss. I think I missed it my first playthrough. Uh, I think it was Nint uh, Nintendo Official Magazine. Does anyone remember that? Uh, that first mentioned that to me, actually. And here's the mysterious gym. This Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. We know! I want to go in anyway. And it throws me away. Now see dude, that's just how good the old man is. Like he's he's got that down and B strat, like totally uh, ready and working. He threw that Pokeball, he held down and B, and then bam. So there should be a ton of trainers to fight in here. A lot of the time I skip them because I'm a bad person. Uh, but I wanna fight them. I'm skipping around that patch of grass because I don't think there's anything there I want to catch. And, um. Yes, I have. Oh, actually, I should just check what Pokemon I have in my star. Yeah, Rattata's fine. Because I need to, uh, level him up anyway. Ooh, pretty. Talk to me. I don't know if you can catch a Pikachu in here on Fire Red. I remember seeing one occasionally in just uh, Plain Red. Oh, I thought there was an item there. I'll probably get lost here at some point. Um, I will catch a bug here. I'm not catching this because, oh my god, that pods are horrible. We're just going to tackle. There's no point doing anything else. I'm just going to spam tackle. It's dead. Oh. 
Why couldn't they have given these tackle? Who <laughs> does this hard and it takes forever? Oh yeah, critical hit boys. The least necessary critical hit, but I love it anyway. Come on. Yes, I know it was not in here. Yes, Cappy, level 5 is higher than I normally catch, but eh. Whatever, let's catch on. So for those who don't know, by the way, my beard is coming back. It's uh, it's been growing for almost a week now. And uh, for those of you who wanted this, whoops, who wanted this to happen, uh, there was a fair few of you asking about it, saying, "Oh, when's the beard coming back? Is the beard coming back?" Well, it's coming back. And all I'm asking you guys to do is, uh, if you ask me at any point for it to come back, if you're pleased with that result, yes, call your canopy. Then. Um, Please donate to the Child's Play Charity, which is, I believe, childsplaycharity.org. Uh, they're a great uh, charity, and at the very least, you know, if you don't even want to donate or you can't donate, then uh, just spread the word about them. They do a lot of, lot of good work. And hey, Nortec is here. Nortec, we decided um, you're going to be a certain Pokemon. Can you guess what one it is, Nort? Hi. Hi, Nort. Hi. Am I going to be like a Caterpie or something? A Metapod. <laughs> no. Come on. It should be really obvious, dude. Squirtle? No. I already, I've already got my Squirtle. Aww. Hmm. Snorlax? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> so, Jesse, what are you playing that on? Me, I'm playing it on uh, an emulator, Visual Boy Advance, so that I can stream it. I do have my uh, my Game Boy and my Game Boy Advance still, and I still actually occasionally play them, but um, for this I'm using an emulator so that you guys can watch me play it. But no, Nort is going to be a meow. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Nice. <laughs> um, I take oh, it I'm not going to evolve as well. I should... Um, well, no, I will evolve you eventually. I should oh. uh, switch out my Pokemon. Because I think there's another one I need to level. And <coughs> you guys need to see it. Huh. Yeah, Interesting. Ta-da-ta-da! <laughs> 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 That's perfect. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I had no intention oh. of doing that, and as soon as I caught one, I'm like, that has to be called Rocket. Yeah. <laughs> this is Best where I, I say I don't understand the joke because I don't know nothing about Pokemon. Because apparently you're it's violent. It's a fighting. I am very violent. So yeah. Okay. Um, I'll, yeah. I'll, what I'll do is after this fight, I'll show you the uh, the Pokedex entry for this uh, this Pokemon. Okay. And you will understand. <laughs> oh, come on. This cat be strolling me. I have the worst Pidgey ever, by the way, guys. Um, it can barely hit with attacks. It's the <laughs> worst thing. Ah. Oh. Like, I think Pidgey. I missed four times in the, uh, the second rival fight. Sand attack, sand attack, sand attack. Ooh. Okay, numerical Pokemon. Oh, wow. Where's Mankey on this list? There he is. So yeah, light and agile on its feet, and ferocious in temperament. When angered, it flies into an uncontrollable frenzy. So basically, rocket. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> it looks even more badass when it evolves. Yeah. 
But uh, I thought you might appreciate that. Are you going to build a Pokemon team out of your friends? Uh, pretty much. Like, I'm just naming certain things after people because I feel like it suits. Yeah. <laughs> so what was suit a Maggie? Oh, d dude, it's going to be obvious what Pokemon Maggie's get. Oh. Jigglypuff. <laughs> because you've got a lovely singing voice, obviously. <laughs> yes, that must be it. <laughs> nope. Maggie will be uh, will be side up. Yay! In honor. I put Jiggly Pops on a bit of though. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should be like a slowpoke or something. <laughs> I was also nah, you're yeah. that. Or a, a slow bro, that's what I should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. slow bro. <laughs> oh man. Can I be uh, that that big fat one that just lies around sleeping all day? Snorlax. Yeah. Snorlax. Yeah, you can try to be Snorlax. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we oh. need to do. We need to go on the quest to save. This dead Pokemon just to wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. The guy that was just gonna take a quick nap and then ended up sleeping <laughs> the entire evening. <laughs> <laughs> so luckily my Rattata's is a badass. It's like oh, I'm poisoned and I'm still gonna totes to win this fight. <laughs> Do you have an antidote? No, I don't. There's supposed to be one in the forest. Yeah, I've not mm. picked it up yet. I got a... Uh... Oh, actually! No, it's a, a poker bottle and um, a potion. Oh, well. So I'll just switch it out with... Uh... Well, it's still gonna die. Yeah, but I just mean so that... I There's an antidote for a it's fine, because like, it's not that far through Viridian Forest. And, um, yeah. like, my Squirtle was level 10, so it could actually solo every fight <laughs> until Brock. It could probably solo Brock, to be honest. It, it, yeah, it can. It can solo Brock at level 10. Bubble. Bubble. Tail whip, bubble. bubble. Tail whip, bubble, bubble. I think it's two to kill Alex after a tail whip. I just bubble bubble bubble. Pop. The RNG hates this Pidgey. <laughs> oh my god, I sand attacked it! Um, so you guys missed the worst thing ever, where I totally forgot, and you know in the uh, the optional fight with your rival, when you try and head towards the Elite Four? <laughs> um, he throws out, he only has a Pidgey and a Bulbasaur. So you can do it at a fairly low level. Um, so I threw out Pidgey first and um, tried to sound attack another Pidgey. <laughs> it turns out I am an idiot. Yep. Because I didn't mean to do it. Like I was thinking about the Barbasaur fight. Yeah. And uh, just brain switched off for long enough for me to do it. <laughs> and I need your R idiot. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I need to get um my, my elder cousin to give me back all my Pokemon games. Yes you do. Pokemon is awesome. Yeah, because his girlfriend at the time was uh wanting to get every Pokemon and all that shit. Oh, so yeah. I let her I let her borrow them. <laughs> yes, you and got... now they've broken up, so <laughs> Well, you better hope she doesn't have the games. <laughs> I better hope he don't have the fucking games. <laughs> He's probably sold them for some fucking pot or some shit. And now he throws out Kakuna. <laughs> Hardly. I should sand attack the Kakuna. <laughs> Until it's no longer effective. I was hoping it's hard and might miss then. Oh my god, my Pidgey has <laughs> terrible attack stats as well, so this fight will actually take four hours. I just no. need someone to keep the Z key and then I can go have a nap. Do you have a, <laughs> one of those bubble head birds? Sadly, I don't. 
do you have a piece of lead, a pencil, and um, some string? No. Nope. Well, then you're fucked. Yep. How did the Dota go, by the way, guys? We won. We won. Yeah. We rocked it. I played Venomancer for the first time in ages. <laughs> Oh, I'm sad I missed out, it sounded like fun. Yeah, it was, it was uh, a sing single pick, and oh, yeah. Maggie got the uh, Windrunner. Oh, and nice. And I Nord oh. got Venno, and I got Alchemist. <laughs> and Kim got the uh, Swan, so... Oh, nice. <laughs> I random got Viper. <laughs> oh, Viper's good. He was, he was a really good guy as well, like, he didn't... Just owned him. Yeah. Fucking Kim was shit. He was so yeah. bad. I got killed so much in the beginning that I had to go forest a whole lot just to get my items and level up. But then I started <laughs> killing. Oh, Rotata faded. I bet this is the antidote as well. Oh my god! Oh, that poor Rotata. Is there anything cool over here? Oh, you need to uh, link me that emulator and all. What? You need to link me uh, the emulator. Oh, the emulator? Yeah. Just Google Visual Boy Advance, like it's the top result. <laughs> I'll link it to you. I haven't played that version. When Kim says emulator, I can imagine something which you play emus on. But you print pretend <laughs> to be an emu. Yeah, you can. <laughs> but I just cut my hair off, so now I can't, but still. What does your hair have to do with emus? Well, I cut my sides Way off, too much. Oh, so I had a oh. thick hair on the top, so I could like put it over the side. Be like emu if I got it black, but... No, 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 oh. you're talking about <laughs> emos. I'm talking about the bird. <laughs> Same shit. <laughs> 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 I'm still <laughs> Oh... Oh... See, oh, guys, man. this is the kind of fun banter you miss out on when you don't join the Sarcasm Gaming team speak. <laughs> what a wonderful <laughs> advert for the team speak. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> we get e emos confused with emus. Let's go. I have mainly it's that Deku's. <laughs> his, his accent is as bad as his spelling. <laughs> but the, 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 uh, it's the truth, it's the yeah. truth. I know, I'm In a, I'm Kim's a, defense, he I'm is a, sort of buzzed. He is also Danish. <laughs> Danish and buzzed is the same thing. Also, yeah. all the worst that things. Is true. <laughs> I think I got away with it. I didn't hear it. You better not let me die, Jesse. You don't die. What? You just It's saved. a bloody caterpillar. What You'll kind of fine. sissy game is this? <laughs> uh, a game for children, love. <laughs> it's a game <laughs> about <laughs> enslaving and fighting to the death. Yeah, but, 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 but <laughs> things should die. That's no, they think. Common sense. Oh, uh, but, uh, so they get brain damage then? No. Well, yes. But you heal because them Because if you let right. them die, uh, too much, they lose faith in you, and then they won't listen to you anymore. Okay, yeah, but that's not. Okay, <gasps> uh, I'm a boxer. I, I know that if you faint from uh, repeated blows to the head, you will most likely get brain damage. <laughs> this, why do you, why do you is, think they can only say their name wrong? Troubling me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Every Pokemon has brain damage from birth. I Pikachu! And stuff. I, I know Pikachu mm. is a Pokemon. That's about <laughs> yeah. as much as I know. Congratulations. And Snorlax. Oh, well, that Snorlax. low kick was very effective. I just wanted to use low kick because it's Rocket. Yeah. I imagine the first <laughs> reaction she would have to any Pokemon would be to kick it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Probably. Low blow, man. Low blow. Nah, not to grow light. Nobody can meet grow light and not be like. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know what? I just noticed. I like how um, Rocket is a male. 
Yes. And there's a reason for that. I explained it earlier. Because oh. of how they implemented genders in this game, it's actually based off your attack stat. So if your attack stat is in the lowest 10%, which I think for a monkey is the bottom two, it will be female, otherwise it will be male. So pretty much all the Pokemon I get will be male, because it means they have better attacks. Okay. So this is That's a sexist, sexist game. Yes. Yeah. GG Japan, GG. I... I hate that. Ah, oh, conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was just because like they kind of shoehorned gender in because obviously it wasn't in Gen One initially. Yeah. And so they just kind of did it that way instead of making it a coin flip. God knows why, but I think it was so that when you uh, brought your old Pokemon forward, it would automatically assign a gender to them. Um, mm. I'm trying to, you know. Oh, you almost be nice about it, but... Yeah. Essentially, it's shitty, and uh, it's the one thing I really dislike about it. Mm. I, I I don't pay attention to. I don't really go that in depth when I catch Pokemon. I'm just like, oh, I don't have that one. I'll catch it. I don't look at the gender. <laughs> <laughs> There's I... one thing more I know about Pokemon other than that Pikachu is a Pokemon that's not like exists, and that is that red, the blue, and yellow are all names. Of uh, yeah, yes. Because mm -hmm. I read the comics, ha! <laughs> and they were bad. I imagine they were. It was just the same story repeated five times. That sounds like most comics, unfortunately. It's like, you start There's to an look item like, down um, there, was it red or blue? If you go back down and where that sign was, you go down to the, the bottom right, there's a a Pokeball thing there, an item. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I was busy listening to the story of the comics. <laughs> but yeah, in the comics you start out with, like, I think it was red, or maybe blue, or something. And he gets Pokemon, and he goes out, and then at the end he disappears, and then another one comes and goes looking for him, and then that one disappears, and another one shows up and goes looking for him, and that one disappears, and so on, and so on, and so on. Yep. That's basically what I got out of it. Sounds about right. It's still a better love story Twilight. than Twilight. Yes. Because Twilight's not a love story. <laughs> Twilight is that? um a manual for stalkers. <laughs> Have you seen that um that thing on the internet? Um like, so that vampires are dead. The so they their blood doesn't circulate, so they can't get a hard on. Yes. Unless you died. Stephanie Myers just ignored it. No, she ignored most of the vampire legend. Because that's not really what it was about in the first place. Yeah, she doesn't mm. she didn't really know what vampires was. She just heard a name and thought it was cool and then decided to make up her own version of it. Which is fair enough. What a stupid Which is okay. But the problematic aspect is like it's fucking creepy. Yeah, mm. like the problematic thing in the books is not, oh, she got vampires wrong. It's your ideal of a wonderfully romantic relationship is incredibly stalkerish and abusive. <laughs> and then people the like Norton read it and then interact with Maggie, and this is worrying. Hi, Maggie. Nort, have you read a book? Well, he, he <laughs> watched the <it> first. <laughs> That is a great laugh from Rocket there. <laughs> I'm yes, sorry, my, Lord, that was, that was mean of me, but, you know. <laughs> nah, that was funny. Hey, Wolfie's here. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. See uh, this patch of the grass to the left that um, is there, just before you get into Pewter City? Get used to that patch of grass. I'm gonna be there for a little while because I've got some <laughs> leveling to do. Levels. <laughs> Yay, grinding. JRPGs. Jesse, why aren't you using throttle? What? Throttle. To make throttle. the games faster. Because that's cheating. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Well, normally I would. Like, generally, generally when I play by myself, I actually do. But the reason I'm not here, I'm trying to kind of re-experience the Pokemon games rather than just speed through everything. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I could see that. I just generally get so frustrated ten minutes in that I quit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, god damn the grinding. Like, you always forget how bad the grinding in this game can get. Yeah. Lol. Shall I catch a Weedle? Weedle! Hmm. Oh, yeah, why not? I mean, you need Pokemon in your Pokedex to get the uh, items later on, so oh, just yeah, catching true. Pokemon is a good idea. Yeah. Too. yeah. yeah. And I mean, I can take it through the, into the Hall of Fame at some point, I guess. Are <laughs> yeah, you playing <laughs> Pokemon online, yeah. I think? What? Streaming! Oh, no. Not I'm even playing late. Pokemon Fire Red, Generation 1, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, Are you, um, yeah. Are you playing in a... Oh, friggin' whatever it's called. Emulator. Emulator, that's on. Yeah, I'm playing in an emulator. Like, I have the game. Um, yeah. And, like, I still have my original Game Boy and everything. Oh, nice. yeah. Nice. I have a... I have one of the old, really grey ones. And, it, like, had a little plug-in thing. You could print out stuff yeah. onto, like, you, ticker tape. It's weird. And there, a Game Boy Color. There is my original Game Boy. Still actually works as well when uh, when I get four batteries for it. Nice. Oh, I have one just like yeah. it, just hot pink. Because <laughs> I'm a girl. And that's what my dad thought I needed. Oh, nice. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to nickname Weedle. I don't think there's... Um... Nah. Nah, no one suits it. So, oh, what's the most annoying Pokemon? Pokemon? Huh? What's the most annoying Pokemon? Oh, Magical. um... <laughs> no, Magical, we, Magical. Can't, we can't name Tal uh, Goop, Goop. Magikarp. No, 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 I already have a name for Magikarp. Oh? Uh? I'm not gonna tell you, you'll see when I get one, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Can you um play via like play via Wi-Fi but through the internet yes. with an emulator? Yes. Um, there's a, a a plugin you can download for Visual Boy Advance that lets you do that. Uh, it treats you like your your link. Wait. So you can battle. Um, which I probably will be doing, uh, but with the black and white uh, two when I get to that in at the end of August because essentially um, I should finish playing Black and White 2 at the end of August and X and Y come out in October so we have a full month and I'll be using that getting together with the other guys from uh, this subreddit Poker Playthrough 2013 and we'll all be battling and stuff and uh, doing a lot of fun stuff with that. Sweet. Wolfie's so trouble. <coughs> we uh, need to. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm eating nuts. Another angry choking Pokemon. Them. Pokemon. Match For Wolfie. Yeah. Yeah. Match up. Well, it, it it just has to be something I can uh, teach rage to. Oh. Um. Huh. Huh. Um. What's it called? Oh. Lee. Hitman Lee. Lee. Hitman Lee. I'd, I'd say Hitmonchan for Wolfie. Yeah, Hitmonchan. I'll get Hitmonchan. <laughs> you could make him a horsey. <laughs> <laughs> a Zubat. Make Wolfie a Zubat because he's so annoying. Make Tao a Zubat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Just a, a whole PC box full of Zubats called Tally. <laughs> <laughs> I might start yeah. playing Pokemon. Tal, uh, unfortunately, Tal has we already play asked together. to be a, uh, a Snorlax. Ah, okay. <laughs> I, Can I, I be a Magikarp? No. I thought Kim was gonna be a Snorlax. No, no I don't wanna be a Snorlax. I don't wanna be yeah, a Snorlax. Yeah, yeah. I'm too active. Yeah, Kim. Yeah, yeah Kim. Uh, Kim, you're the Snorlax. Who went to sleep for a short nap and disappeared for the yeah, entire uh, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that may be true. <laughs> 
Wait, are me, uh, are Mewtwo's, um, are they mean men? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. no rocket, no. <laughs> oh god. Such a mean <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> I have some fun ideas for what certain Pokemon will be named. Um, I'm not just going to list them now because that would suck for the rest of the run. Yeah. <laughs> Let leave some suspense. Like, oh, he's got a new Pokemon. What will he name it? Finally, we have the fabled Jigglypuff. I wonder what <laughs> Nautic. Oh, no. Oh, actually, I have a pretty funny story to tell. Uh, Rocket and maybe... I don't even know if Kim was around like this, but... Um, so, you know, Mag uh, Maggie, yesterday you uh, sent me that photo of you looking disapproving because you wanted to play yeah. Dover. And I said it as my uh, my desktop background, which I thought was pretty funny. First of all, it managed to scare my granddad this morning when he wasn't <laughs> expecting uh, He was not expecting to see that when I closed my Chrome window. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have naked photos? No, but even better. Like um, I was, uh, I was sad before. I was really, really tired, um, and I most definitely did not want to go and do uh, like my half-hour yoga thing. And then I closed Chrome, and Maggie was just looking at me disapprovingly. I was like, "I'll go do it." <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! It worked. Best use of that photo. <laughs> yeah. yeah man. It is a great photo. The bloody is. Actually, I might just show it on stream. <laughs> <laughs> if you're cool with that. I'm fine with it. Because I think it's brilliant. Here we go. I'm just being really pitchy. So, yeah, here we go. <laughs> this is my uh, my desktop background. Actually, I don't even know if it's going to show. Because it doesn't always do that. Uh, let's see. I think I might be able to just... Uh, software capture... I think it's Monitor 1. There we go. That is my desktop background. At all times. <laughs> hey! Hi. I'm Maggie. <laughs> that is what I spend school time doing. Yep. Totally <laughs> worthwhile, right? Of course. I love that picture so much. I will eventually have to remove it, probably. Because That's I will... okay, I'll take another one to replace it. Because <laughs> I will end up scaring myself at some point. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll wake up and turn over, and then, like, there's just two Maggies staring at me, and that's <laughs> like at least one more Maggie than my brain can handle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's, it's like half past midnight already. I lose so much time to these games. <laughs> but they're so much fun. I really don't want to go to bed tonight. Um, but I probably should at some point. We'll bully you to bed if it gets too late. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm gonna... You can still see the bottom utility bar on Jesse's screen. Yeah, how come that hasn't changed? That's weird. <laughs> I um, don't know why it's doing that. Um, let's just. Oh no, he broke Maggie! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ow! Okay, there we go. I don't know why that was doing that, but there we go. It's probably because you were doing the video um, capture thing again. Oh, I will tell you exactly why I was doing it. Because I forgot this video, um, the Pokemon thing, doesn't actually fill up the full screen on ARMS. Ah. That's why. So you were seeing, um, because I didn't actually delete the, uh, the desktop capture, I just removed, uh, I just put it behind this Pokemon window. Haha, <laughs> 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 Rotata, you fool! Could have killed me. No, you're a guy. 
You did Why not take you your name minutes. your ratata Towley. No, a Zubat. Towley is a Zubat. I thought <laughs> Ratatata was kind of annoying, but okay. Nah, I like Ratatas. Okay. So Trust me, when he gets to a cave, if he does not have a rappel, you will see why uh, Lapel yes. is a Zubat. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm, do you know what? I'm not going to use rappels this game. This is one Ooh. of my. This is one of my personal goals. Is I will not use a rappel. Oh, fucking hardcore mode, eh? Yeah. You know there are some people doing hardcore runs of Pokemon, where if yeah. one of your Pokemon faints, you, you release never it. use it again. Yeah. Yeah, and yet, it's like the, the Nuzlocke challenge, you have to release fainted Pokemon, and you have to catch the first Pokemon in a new area. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm. I'd be so scared to use my Squirtle. <laughs> I just never let anything back. Like, as soon as it took damage, I'd be like, potion. <laughs> like, half my strategies rely on Pokemon fainting at certain times. <laughs> I'm like, right, now you die, and then my crap Pokemon comes in and gets all the experience in the fight, even though it does one tackle. <laughs> but, like, don't you just start a match with a crap Pokemon, and you switch it out with a better one? Uh, yeah, but goes... then it only gets half the experience Pokemon. Ah, I see. But if the, uh, if the good Pokemon dies, then uh, if a Pokemon faints, you don't get any, uh, it doesn't get any experience. Hi. I love XP You share. cruel bastard. <laughs> and I'd never use that XP share thing. That's awful. <laughs> like seriously, why is that item in the game? I don't know. I use it all the time. Really? It takes I use it yeah. much longer. I, I guess it does, but it's just... I play along like I forget that I have the Pokemon in my inventory. <laughs> it just lies there accumulating XP. <laughs> uh, fair enough. I grab it and just run, just like take a level 1 Pokemon for an Elite 4. Just let my big Pokemon get all, do all the work. Like, ding, I don't ding, see why you wouldn't ding. want to two Pokemon at the same time. Especially if one's too weak to fight the opponents that are high level than it in the zone that you're in. What? Well, could you level both at the same time, but the one which is low level doesn't need to fight. Well, no, 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 there's... The thing is, the XP thing, the XP share, it shares it among all your party. So, like, no, all... Oh, I thought... Oh, okay. No, I thought it's you just the nope. Pokemon that you give it to. Really? Yeah. 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 What am I thinking of that? There's definitely something that shares everything throughout the whole party. I'm sure. That um, is possible. I think there is as well. Yeah, because that's the one I... But no, I meant the individual. One. Oh, see, I didn't know there was an individual. I don't think I've ever come across it. Is it still available in the initial version in red, or is it something new for Fire Red? And... I have no idea. The uh, only game I've played is Sapphire and uh, Green. The old, can't remember what the colour was. But... Leaf Green? Yeah. Yeah, see, that's this generation is Fire Red and Leaf Green, which are up version updates of Gen 1, uh, you know, red and blue. Because blue uh, was green in Japan. Um, I don't know the reasoning between changing it to Pokemon Blue for the West. It's because Japanese are weird. That too. <laughs> So Pokemon are healed by watching television? Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like humans. Also, why is Mar Mario running around? <laughs> <laughs> because my character is a plumber. <laughs> Doctor, this man is dying! Quick, feed him a lobster! What? I said feed him a lobster now! Oh my god, Doctor! He's alive! Roots came. Oh, RuneScape. Yes. RuneScape. RuneScape. I don't remember oh. lobsters, but there we go. <laughs> I remember lobsters because my brother made me farm them for him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I had a younger brother and he did the farming for me. Yes, this but is the pecking see, order. I, I have no life, so I did all the farming myself. Aww. Oh man, that was me with 
uh, Final Fantasy XI, oh my god, spending hours with mm. bloody uh, honeycombs to sell and stuff. <laughs> it fucking ruin crafting as well. I spent, in Final Fantasy XI, I used to play, like, I would play every day, because uh, uh, a lot of the time in it I was, like, out of work or between jobs at the time. And so I would have on, like, my TV, um, Tori Amos's Welcome to Sunny Florida album, just playing on repeat, and I would just sit there and fight wasps for, like, 13 hours. <laughs> My brain had so much more tolerance for bullshit and grinding back then. So it's yeah. me playing Pokemon, grinding in the same two patches of grass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you have a goal with this grinding? Or is it just like something Make his Pokemon stronger. Yeah, but is there a goal to when you're done with the grinding? Is there like a uh, level Yeah, you're something? Titan leader. Yeah, but is like, is he gonna move on when he reaches a certain level or yeah. something? I'm gonna get these two Pokemon um, to like level seven ish. I don't need to, but it will just make things a bit faster later on. Okay. Like, I can beat Brock now. Yeah. Uh, it's just, once you start to move on, you start to get to a point where the wild Pokemon are gonna outstrip yours in level. And I, I, I have to say, even though I'm not trying to fill up my Pokedex in this run. I still kind of want to get as much as I can in my Pokedex. Yeah. So it's like, it's I don't want to stop using Weedle and Caterpie until I've got them to their final form. Even though I'll ditch them like immediately afterwards because they're fine. <laughs> get okay, all the so information. What are we at Pokemon wise? Okay, 5, well, 6, 7, 7, 10, 11, that's fine. When I play with uh, one main uh, Pokemon that gets very high level, but still need like Pokemon to get all the items, yeah. I usually have a butter of three in my uh, inventory just to put Pokemon to sleep so I can catch them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main use I have for those Pokemon. Yeah, the main use I have for a butter of three is sleep. Right. Yeah. yeah. Good night, Magico. Have a good night, bro. Good night, Magico. Good night, Magico. Good night, Magico. I forgot I made you a mod rocket. I think that was the best decision <laughs> I made. Where's my mod? <laughs> no, there is no way I can trust you with Jamma. <laughs> of course you can. Oh, what? He ran. Oh, bugger this. Bugger this grinding. I'm gonna go fight Brock. <laughs> I'll grind later. I'll grind when I'm not streaming. <laughs> On yesterday's episode, Jesse grinds! <laughs> and grinds hey. some more! And then after that, he grinds some more! Excuse me, in this episode, I will have done two rival fights and beat a gym leader. And, and grind. Then, it's the most eventful episode there is probably gonna be. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's the beginning. <laughs> It'll be like Dragon Ball Z. There'll oh be God. a lot of build up. Yeah. Yeah. Building your spirit yep. bomb for free episodes, only to fucking miss. Man, I even walked the wrong way to the. <laughs> yeah, the question is, what will your power level be at the end of it? Over 9,000! 65. Uh, yeah, probably around 65. 69. Lol. You so mature, Nort. I know. The right? worst thing is, it's not even funny. Like, I could forgive him if it was funny. <laughs> I don't ask you to forgive me for anything. So that's, that's something actually, one of my favourite things in the game is that it lists the winning trainers. and Like it's always lead out, winning trainer, it's always your rival first. And then once I beat him, my <laughs> name will be added. <laughs> ah, so he's called Sleep. Yeah. Sleep won the battle. Oh. But it means I've conquered Sleep twice tonight. <laughs> Yay! I still think Stormageddon. Stormageddon was a great one. I would have loved that X. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. There were a lot of uh, good choices. Yeah. The draw. No. Oh, withdraw. Do you know what? I just <laughs> realised I don't even know what withdraw does. I've never used it ever. 
Oh, I know what you should have called it. You should have called him horse poop. Because then we could have made horses and poop puns. Okay, withdraw just like up to your defense or something. Uh, there were more than enough it's bloody poop puns useless. on the cast the other night. There is never that was a good puns. night. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you doing? Oh, oh, what? <laughs> 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 Maggie Toe is so cute. With <laughs> <laughs> those tiny little stumpy arms. Wait till you see him evolve. He becomes a massive badass by the end of the game. Yeah. Which I feel like, ah, oh, bloody sad. He has cannons on his shoulders. Indeed. Just saying. Yeah. Ah, oh, sand attack. No. And now defense curl, so bubble's not even gonna kill it in one hit. Ah. Oh. Missed. Oh. I'm trapped. Oh. Look at that, it's super effective, but because it let him use the goddamn defense curl. Oh, this game is the biggest troll. We should tackle him. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Damn. So many moves in this game are just designed to troll you yep. as, uh, as badly as possible. Okay. Yes! <laughs> 219 experience points, I'll take that. Remember, <laughs> light years isn't time, it measures distance! Cheers, yes. bro! The more you know. <laughs> I'm wrong. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. Your rock hard what? My oh Pokemon God. are all rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> you cut out you cut out a will, what did you say? Are you sure this well, game is for children? Rock will. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it just has the funniest things sometimes. <laughs> oh translation. <laughs> so Geodude and then on it. So, depending on what he does, depends on how many bubbles it takes to kill him. I'll tell with him, if he uses defense curl, it takes two bubbles. Uh, if he tackles, it should take one bubble. Uh, assuming my Squirtle's attack is high enough. It might be special attack, actually. I can't remember what one bubble is. Ah, uh, yeah, so... It's special attack, isn't it? Yeah, I think my special attack's not high enough. It's fine. <laughs> You can do it, put your back into it. Oh. And that'll level me up as well. Oh. Yeah. At what level does he evolve? 16? Come on. 16 or 18. It's 16, I'm sure, yeah. Then it's 36 for the final. So, finally it's going to be annoying. Uh, I think I still have one potion left, so I'm going to use it. Oh no, I have three potions. <laughs> did you get one out of your PC? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The first thing I did was like, huh, oh, I wonder if this is still there. <laughs> oh no, Magico is hurt by bind. Oh. Sorry, I want to Magico was <laughs> squeezed by bind. <laughs> <laughs> That's slightly different than being hurt by. Okay, so since. Um, since my special attack's a bit low, it might take three bubbles to kill on it. Hmm. Bubbles on it. They don't really go together. Oh, no, bubble, 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 pop. I find it funny that bubbles can hurt a monster made out of rock. It's a water. <laughs> water is good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 
I love Bubble Beam. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I've never had a bubble that's been frightening or like life threatening though. Yeah, but you've never been a rock. So. Clearly, you've <laughs> never been in the Bubble Trouble universe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so god. <laughs> we are gonna get rid of withdrawal. Oh yeah, see withdrawal raises defense. Who would ever want to do that? So Dunno. I would draw a metapod or a Kakuna maybe. <laughs> You'd just like metapod because it hardens. Is there is there a button? It reminds you of the game. Would you like to play with my metapod is it button? maybe? The button. <sighs> do you have see, the button? This is in why the game? We feel like I should separate Nort from other human beings. I was about to say Nort from Maggie, but I've decided it's just Nort from other human beings. <laughs> the rest of intelligent life. So that's something, yeah. Uh, you get. Uh, and some intelligent, un intelligent too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play with the bacteria. Yeah, Rock Tomb. Bacteria, cool. Rock Tomb's actually a pretty decent move. Yeah. But here we see winning train is Sleep and Vokta! Yay, I beat Rock. <laughs> but I mean, that was a fine fight. Like, that is just how easy that first gym is when you start with a squirrel. Yeah. It's relatively easy if you start with a Mobblesaur as well. Yeah, if you start with a Charizard, it's still not bad. Charmander. Um, Oh, whatever. Shut up. <laughs> I'm tired. If you start with a Charizard, I want to start with a Charizard someday. Total assisted rock. <laughs> he won't listen to you at all. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Everything listens to me. Um, so what you do with that is you use, um, <coughs> you know the move Rollout, is it? Mm -hmm. Um, hits five times, in, up to five times in a row. So when, um, say you want to do a speed run of this, you... Well, one of the things you do is I'm um, putting myself to sleep because I'm talking this Jigglypuff. Um, one of the things you do is teach uh, a high-level Pokemon uh, rollout because even though it's not going to listen to you most of the time, so long as it does once yeah. per fight, it's fine because it's going to hit them up to five times. <laughs> that is actually very good advice. I watch a lot of Pokemon speedruns. <laughs> it comes in handy. You are a Pokemon friend. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. This was not in red. Yeah, I don't it's really know not what's very going important. Thing. Aww. It doesn't really. You are really a difference. Pokemon friend. I just try and I just try and find the most obscene thing I can put in there all the because time. Because you're Nord. Yeah. Not so we're putting <laughs> the most obscene thing into other things. <laughs> that was what I was for my. Yeah. I was wondering who was gonna say that. Uh, Prepare yourself, Maggie. Ah. Uh, oh, this uh, is a repel person. I'm scared. <laughs> Maggie will need some repel for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jesse, for when I come visit, do you have any Nord repel running uh, lying around? Yeah, it's cold. Women. Water. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to force Don't be so mean to yourself. Yeah, no. That's that my awesome. privilege. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, let us have a chance to mock you. Like, nope. <laughs> Stop mocking yourself. God, you're so selfish. I know. <laughs> just in case someone ends up watching that doesn't know us, we actually do love Nort. We just love annoying him more. We just more. worry about him. Because yeah. the way he treats Maggie is occasionally funny and occasionally terrifying. I yes. can't help it. Love, love those strange things, dude. See, the worrying thing is, like, a lot of the time I'll be like, ha ha, that's funny. And then sometimes I'll be like, I'm worried he really means it. <laughs> so now I can run. Yay! Oh, running! Yay! Fucking finally! Just don't give Maggie the shoe. Maggie cannot she, be trusted. That's. again. No. I cannot? <laughs> she can. 
I was trying to make it um, so that Nort's joke would become acceptable. Nort, I, don't uh... make those jokes. I will buy these for people. <laughs> Why did I press that button? I'm busy shouting at Nort. Oh shit, I don't want a summary of Pidgey. I know what Pidgey is. It's a bloody <laughs> annoying flying Pokemon. It has a naughty nature. I thought Pidgey was a word. <laughs> oh, I did sound attack again! You guys have blown me off! That's just why since the stream I've done this. So. You guys suck. He has a naughty nature. Can we just go and see what nature Rocket has? Yeah, actually we will. <laughs> because I will die if Rocket has a naughty nature. Uh, I should say something, but I don't really have anything to say. That's fairly accurate, actually. Oh, okay. Mally. Hasty nature. Okay. Natures don't actually Hasty. so much in this game. Like, there's some... They have some effect, but it's they not have some really effect. Any... People online will tell you they have a much bigger effect than they actually do. If mm. you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, Crash. there is a lot of absolutely horrendously false information online about Pokemon and what things mean. <laughs> Which really bugs me. Because it's not hard to research a, you know, a few of these things and test them out. But hey, there we go. <laughs> I don't really have anything that's great against flying Pokemon. Flying Pokemon are weak to a lot of things, uh, things though. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, oh, again. So, um, <laughs> there's a thing, I don't know if it happens in Fire Red, I know it happens in Gold, where water Pokemon specifically um, have a better attack stat when their health is in the red and it's making that annoying noise. Hmm. Hmm. Which leads to some I really, don't know. It leads to some really fun stuff. Whereby, uh, again, because like I watch hours and hours of speedruns of Pokemon games. So one of the things you do is again you start with Squirtle because Squirtle's a badass, and the entire game you try and keep him in the red. Like you will specifically take damage at certain points because it will mean you can one shot things that would otherwise one shot you back. Oh. Oh. The annoying thing is, it means you hear that noise all game long, and the run is just over yeah. two hours. <laughs> so for yeah. two hours, all you hear is dum 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 dum, and it's like. Oh. Are you playing with sounds on? Yep. Okay. Um, normally I wouldn't, because eventually they do actually get to me. Um. But while I'm streaming, like, it's fun to remember how awesome the music in this game is. Yeah. Like, it has the best soundtrack of any game. Yeah. Without I can actually agree with that. Yeah. Most of it is nostalgia, I'm well yeah. aware. But it's total nostalgia chip. Like, um, trip, rather. But... That's the way it goes. The awkward silence while people contemplate wh what it meant that you said the subject chick instead of the subject chick. You know chick. what it meant that I said the subject chick. I know, I know. <laughs> I don't know. It's a, a um, online reviewer called the subject chick. Okay. She's pretty cool. Yeah, Rocket introduced me to that entire site, which is that guy with the glasses.com. Thing. Yes, you have a nostalgia chick and nostalgia critic and so on and so on. Yeah. And um, my brother now watches Obscurus Looper thanks to us. Excellent. Obscurus Looper <laughs> is awesome. Yeah, she actually is. She reviews old bad films, but by bad I mean so bad they're good. The kind of movies I love. Yeah. So this is the problem we have now, um, because I didn't level Weedle and Caterpie up to level 7. Um, they can't do these fights, and I want to level them up. 
So I think after this trainer fight, I think I will actually end the stream and go to bed, and then uh, tomorrow I can do some grinding uh, in the evening. Okay. Which I think makes sense. Oh yeah. Because I'm gonna, I'm basically gonna grind everything to level ten before I run through this. That cave is going to be so annoying. Yeah, it is. I will probably stream the cave. Awesome. Because... I'll come be annoyed with you. <laughs> Not another Towly. <laughs> this dude is just string shotting the crap out of me. It's too bad though, in the way you can get the emulators onto an iOS device like your phone or something. Oh, you totally can. Really? I can play Pokemon on my, uh, my Samsung uh, S3. But that's an Android. Yeah. What about an iPhone? Why would I ever use an iPhone? Why would anyone do that? Because they might like the Apple products. Well, then they're bad people. <laughs> oh, so I, have, I have opinions on Apple that mean uh, I have no idea uh, what would and wouldn't run on their devices, I'm afraid. Ooh. I'm pretty sure someone will have set it up so they can. Like, someone will have figured out a way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Then you probably need to job like your phone or something. Yeah, but yeah, it will be it will be a lot more difficult because of the way Apple approaches um, iPhones. Yeah. I've gotten a Tamagotchi on my Android. <laughs> I remember Tamagotchi. Man, everything is all about the nostalgia tonight. I should have dressed up like a goth. <laughs> yes. Yes, you should. I don't think it. Now again, I feel old. An iPhone. Why do you feel it's old? too because the too things weak. you refer to as nostalgia is things I refer to as in the uh, near past. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair to like me, nostalgia is anything older than like two weeks. I'm like, oh, I played this game three months ago. Ah, uh, nostalgia. <laughs> I get nostalgia yeah. for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. How bad is that? Yeah, well, I and I still consider Baldur's Gate a, Gate a kind of new game. <laughs> oh. What? Uh, right. Baldur's Gate is amazing. Yeah, Baldur's Gate is Baldur's awesome. Gate on Xbox, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, PS2. And it's and it came out like Sorry. after my brother moved from home, so it's rather new. Oh, you you mean the enhanced vision? No. No, no. He she means. I'm uh, talking the about the original game. one. Rocket has a warped sense of time when it comes to nostalgic things. I've never played the original. Like I've only ever played Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance on the PS2. Oh, that's but oh god! I used you to play it. Oh, oh, oh you! It. Oh, you missed something awesome. You did, oh, you yeah, did. the original one just got um, an enhanced HD version cut out of that. Yeah, but it's so not it's as pretty good. much. Isn't it the same game? Basically, just. It's similar. Graphics. similar. They, they've they updated the graphics, but as they always do, they change some things about the engine and change some things from the story and that. Mm. Um, and I don't like it. And like, they've done it so that it can be played on like iPads and stuff. Pretty much any HD version you see of uh, an old game is worse. Uh, like, if any of you have seen the, uh, the HD versions of Silent Hill, yeah. Uh, which should have been awesome because Silent Hill is some of the best games ever. Like they did survival horror like no other, and um, they're awful. The HD updates are just terrible. They're so poorly done, and it actually ruins the games uh, when it should have made them so much better. So that's uh, incredibly upsetting for me because I've still yet to complete Silent Hill 2. Um, because every time I try, I get too scared and have to stop. <laughs> I'm like that. Zelda, um, 
made me afraid of water in games. What's this? Zelda. <laughs> Was it our Ar Arcana? Oh my god! Some ah! kind of thing, maybe. Oh my god! Dun, 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 dun. Who's that Pokemon? It's Metapod! <laughs> nope, it's uh, two. It's Mom at the That kind of looks like the Ultra, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and now it can't do anything. Yeah, it can. It's still got tackle. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! And it gains harden. Yep. It, um, <sighs> Brilliant. It's just if you catch one in the wild, uh, a straight up Metapod, it won't have tackle. Because they wanted you to hate your life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did you get your? How did you get yours? Mine, I caught uh, a wild caterpie and evolved it. Oh right, okay. It just evolved then at the end of that fight, which is the last fight of the night, because it takes me like another 20, 25 minutes before I actually get into bed from stopping the stream, and I'm tired. So, uh, thanks for joining me, guys. That was uh, a lot of fun, and you kept me company in my long grinding session. <laughs> Despite the fact that it was a pretty, you know, long grinding session for our stream, that is also the most eventful episode. Pretty much you'll see until it's Elite Four fight time. Um, because we did, what, two rival fights and a boss? Yep. I have a boulder badge. So, cheers for watching, guys. Um, I'll be back latest next Monday night, same time. Probably with more Pokemon, but maybe with some other stuff. I will try and switch it up because I know not all of you like Pokemon, even though that makes you horrible, awful people. I'm um, sorry. You will, uh, you'll learn to love it in the future. We'll remain friends otherwise, don't worry about it. Okay. I'll just hide my Pokemon love from you in the back. Now go stand in the middle of that circle. <laughs> I knew that would bug you. You actually can't. It bugs me too. I've tried oh, so gosh. many times. Yeah. Oh, you can? You can. Oh. Oh, Thank God. What game is it you can't stand in the middle of the circle? It's there is one. red, isn't it? Hmm? I thought they actually changed it with fire red because it bugged so many people. Yes. <laughs> because of the pixels <laughs> meant you could just go around it. Yeah. I'm sure that's the initial red. Uh, red and blue. So, yeah. thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back Monday. Maybe Sunday night if I feel like playing some more Pokemon. Peace out. Countdown <laughs> to stopping because the stream lags.